Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the garage. Um, so today um, we're going to work on a new problem on the truck. So uh, those of you who've been following uh, my channel and the build, um, we put a new motor in the 6.5 turbo diesel. Um, I did get it running. I'm going to do uh, another video and kind of uh, fill everybody in on what it took to get it running um, on first startup. Uh, there's some interesting things that, that came up that I'll share. Um, but today what I want to tackle was uh, when I pulled the truck out of the garage the other day, um, the wipers wouldn't work. And uh, the truck's been sitting for a little over a year now. Um, I'm pretty sure the wipers worked when I parked it. Um, but for whatever reason, got in the truck after got it going turn on the wiper switch because uh, it was snowing outside and uh, no wipers so um, check the fuses check power up to the wiper motor everything looks good so doing some research online I did come across that uh, there was apparently a GM recall on the circuit board inside the wiper motor and apparently it's a pretty easy fix um, you basically remove the circuit board you uh, have to, I think there's five solder joints that are semi-defective that you need to just touch up and, and uh, go back over and put the board back in and everything should work. So we're going to give that a shot. And so uh, I figured I'd bring you along for this video. There are other channels that have this video as well, but we thought we'd throw it on ours. So without uh, further ado, let me show you um what we're getting into here okay so here is the wiper motor uh, it is right there on the firewall and what you have to do to gain access to it is this little this black cover comes off there's uh, one two three screws it looks like um, that you take out and then you uh, undo this harness and pull the circuit board out. So let me get the camera set up and I'll show you that process. Okay, so let's get this off. So it's a Torx uh, T20. And we'll just get this undone. Of course, uh, a little clumsy dropping screws, but we'll try and do better here. There we go, got that one. So apparently you can buy these new, these circuit boards on Amazon and I did check, they're about $24 for the part. But, it's my understanding the fix is pretty easy. And as you can see, that board started to walk its way out as we undid it. So it just pulls straight out. And there's basically these little tangs that plug in in the wiper motor. These are for your switches. And it doesn't look too bad. But apparently... Right here is where those solder joints are that you have to touch up. So we're going to go over to the bench. I'm going to heat up my soldering iron and I'll bring you back and we'll touch that up. Soldering iron all warmed up. So now we're just going to go over each of these. I did this one already. Just touch it up a bit. We're just adding a little bit of solder onto these just to make sure. There's some kind of a red plastic or something on these, but from what I understand, torch will just go right through those. <clears throat> So 
some of these it doesn't look like there's very much solder on them to begin with from the factory so okay so we got one two three four we did five six we did that one let's make sure And I think we'll do this one up here just to be safe. And I think that's all that you need to do. Just the main ones that feed this guy. And maybe we'll just do that one as well, just to be on the safe side. Okay, now, putting it back is just the exact opposite, and there's a little groove that that lines up in, and then should just kind of pop into place. And we'll grab our cover. And there's nothing that seals these up very well from the elements so it's pretty easy for dirt and dust to get into them it appears um, and my understanding is the recall is the uh, the cold solder joint and the um, crack from the flexing of the harness the circuit Oops. our screw we dropped all right and our final screw Okay, let's go in the truck and see if we fixed it. So we're just gonna turn the... Look at that. We have squirters, we have wipers. Everything is working. So as you saw, uh, if you encounter that problem, that actually turns out to be a really easy fix. Um, the uh, circuit board repair works, uh, saved me from having to buy a replacement or wait for a replacement to come in. And uh, we once again have working wipers. So hope this helps anybody that, that runs into trouble with it. Uh, apparently this is applicable to 88 to 98 99 Chevy and GMC trucks so if your wipers all of a sudden one day just quit working and you check the fuse and the fuse is good chances are you need to do the repair on that circuit board so thanks for watching see you again next time